Hello everyone and welcome back to Sweet It In 2. In the last episode, we tailed Necklord all the way through a cavern just to get to Tinto and try to find him. Now we're here and there's zombies everywhere. What do we do? Well, there's really nothing you can do but fight them. Now these guys are going to be a lot harder than the zombies we fought in the mines, but still, don't waste your magic. Can't say that enough. You have to just push through. This is all like a crazy test that we've been going through. We had to go through that whole dungeon. We had to fight a boss, which was pretty difficult. And we have to really keep all of our magic in check. Because we're still not done with this gauntlet that they've put in front of us. So do your best here. And we will hopefully find him. He's got to be here somewhere, right? Definitely. Best way to do it is go this way. You're going to run into a few fights. If you really want to run around all of Tinto and fight to get levels, I mean, you can do that. Um, but you probably won't need to at this point because you've been doing so much fighting previously. Man, so many zombies. But they're never going to be gone unless we take care of Necklord himself. So we got to do that. Up this way. To the church, which this is up here. He's in here, I think. I can feel it. The power of the moon rune. All right, let's go. Now a different turn of events would have happened here. If you remember a couple of episodes ago, you had the choice to either run away from this whole thing or, or fight. We stayed and fought, so certain things, you're gonna see what happens here. Um, if you, if you run away, different things actually happen. Um, oh, I'm going the wrong way, actually. Unfortunately, you're just gonna have to play it and run away to see. Or you can look it up on YouTube, I'm sure someone has it. But basically, all these events change, depending on what you chose before. Maybe he's behind this door. That's my sense as a hunter. Or it could be the only door here. Okay, here we go. Ready, Ryu? No, I'm not. Before you go in that door, make sure you are healed completely. And I mean completely. Don't even let anyone be like a hair off. You don't want to do it. Everyone good? Okay, we look good now. Let's go. Make sure you take that opportunity to heal. What's this? Ah, uh, let me go back. Let me go back to my father. You idiot. What's this, bride number 70? Catching that little girl. I'm immortal, so until she grows up, I'll keep her by my side and bring her up as a lady. Don't say something so disgusting. And besides, why did you capture me too? Am I gonna be a bride too? Don't be absurd. A vulgar woman like you isn't my taste. You, yeah, you're... What? What the hell is so vulgar about me? <laughs> I like low one. That's the kind of thing I'm saying is vulgar, for God's sake. Hey, I'm coming in. That's what he said. No, it's just a weird line. Victor, how did you get here? Don't tell me you defeated that stone golem. Shut up. Don't talk like that. When I think about defeating you, I'm so happy I get shivers. You think you can beat me? With that blunt sword. Vampire, the punishment for teasing me is a heavy one. I'll make you regret it to one depth of your soul. Yeah, yeah, tell him, Star Dragon Sword. Victor and Ryu, I will take you both to the other world. Of course, I expect to make good use of your corpses. Heh, <laughs> I'll make sure you can never make that grin again. I'll chop you up. Grind you up. Dry you in the sun, break you to pieces, bury you in the ground, piss on you, then I'll dig you up, pull you, stretch you, drag you around, and then, and then, in any case, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> a little anticlimactic. As always, you're a vulgar man, but don't forget, I have two hostages. Whoa, what's this? The, the, this the 
That was a great performance, Victor. Thanks to you, we are now prepared. You're con. This is the sacred barrier that the Marley family researched for generations to this day. Now you can't use your phase magic. Oh, he's stuck in there. Y you. But I have the power of the moon rune. The sacrificial offering was enough. So this sacred barrier will be blown away. Oh, powerful moon rune. The blood of a hundred men. The souls of a hundred men I gave to you. Moon rune. Seal and put to rest for a while this awesome power. That's right, she commands it. She's the leader. No, no, it can't be. It's Sierra the Elder, mistress of the coven. I'll have you give back the rune you stole from me 400 years ago, so the curse of that rune doesn't spread any further. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Hey, Neck Lord, it's time to cash in your chips. Ah, how long I've been waiting for this moment. Oh, well, you're in trouble now, dude. You scum. I'm not going to be defeated now. Me, me, I'm going to live forever. All right, here we go. This is Necklord. He has 4,500 HP. Don't let the HP fool you. He is really hard at this point, especially if you wasted your magic, which I really hope you didn't do. So basically, start out with everything you have. Uh, do whatever you can to get this done. Um, after the first round, trust me when I say Ryu is going to be on heal duty the entire time. He, he has a hit all that's really nasty, and also he's going to go after both girls in your party quite a lot, and you don't want anybody downed in this fight if you can help it. So I'm going out with guns blazing. Do what we can. Have Nana, if she has any left, uh, do the repel magic. You're going to want to do that, and have Luke blow him up with whatever you've got that's crazy. Uh, what do we have that's best? Probably shining. Oh, we'll, we'll leave that. Uh, reflects magic damage? No. Blue gate? 990. Man, I kind of want to use this. I'm worried. Oh, we don't want to fuck around with this. I'm going to try it while we're healed, because we we'll, we'll definitely never get a chance to use it later, and we haven't seen it yet. So let's do it and just pray. Oh man, this is actually pretty cool. This music is really good too. Oh, that did a lot more than 90! You lied to me! Oh boy. Oh, I hope we all live or this is going to be the shortest episode ever. I should have just healed. That's what I should have done. I should have healed besides. If I knew that I was going to do that. Alright, everyone hang on, please. Just attack one person, please. That's fine. Hang in there, Nana. Oh, brother. We need to make it to a heal round. That was stupid. Let's not use that again. <laughs> I wanted you guys to see it, though. I forgot that as a room gets more powerful... Oh, Nana, please. Don't, don't do it. Stay alive, please. She must have like one HP at this point. Once he depletes someone's HP down really far, he starts doing some crazy magic attacks, and we do not want this. So let's go ahead and start out with um, Battle Oath and hopefully a uh, Berserk. People in the front row. Oh, we really don't need Battle Oath though yet. Shit. I do want them Berserked, but uh, the healing won't be worth it except for Nana. Um, yeah, wow, I don't want to waste it, to be fair. Even though the Berserk will help, we're going to be using it every turn now anyway, so I'm not really too worried about it. Uh, sudden death or 500 damage. What can you do? You know what? Ruin yourself, please. Just in case, because I'm not sure if she will be fully healed by just the, uh, the one healing song. And we'll never use that again! We'll never speak of it again. At least you guys saw it. We live through it. That's the important part. This guy is supposed to be hard, so do not worry if you have trouble. 
He really doesn't have a particular weakness, although if you did bring Khan, his charm arrow spell and resurrection rune is good. It's just that he's outfitted so poorly, it, it's not as good as it could be. So that's your choice, probably. We got this, come on. This is that nasty attack. It does a lot of damage. Luke and Nana got lucky there. They shielded. Sierra was not so fortunate. What? Was that it? Wait, really? Uh, 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 really? I don't think I've ever beaten him that fast. We, we only had one heal. Wait, what happened? What? Hello? Game? Uh, um, I think I broke it. Wait. What? I... Uh, okay, I remember him being a lot harder. <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> have three spells on hand, apparently, is all I need. View. You scum. I'm sure they said he can't escape. This is a technique my grandfather made and my father passed to me. It won't break. Ugh. Ugh. Sierra, forgive me. Please forgive me. The rune. I'll give it back. Then do it quickly. Uh, okay, yes. There it is. The true moon rune. That's it. Victor, my work is finished. Do what you want with him. No, you can't. No, no. My family, my friends, the people who are important to me, killed by you. That's not all. You trampled on the lives of many times that many. It's too late to beg for your life. Hey, Star Dragon Sword. Die, vampire. Oh, shit. You bore. This means, finally, it's over. Well... Well, let's go back. Necklord is dead. There's nothing left to do here. Right, Ryu? I guess not. Are the girls okay? Oh, they're already gone. <laughs> Alright, let's leave. And everything looks back to normal in Tinto. I hope it's okay. Let's go see Gustav right away. I think he's in here. I hope he's in here. He's not in here. Where the hell did he go? Do we have to go down to the entrance? We might have to. I hate when they don't give you, like, any direction and you're just roaming through the streets. Here we go. Oh, it's Justin Hauser. They're okay. Father! Lily, you're alright. I was so scared. Ah, uh, Miss Lily, nothing is better than knowing you're safe. Ah, uh, Lowen, you're alright. Sister Lo Wen! You two idiots! What are you doing? You're a disgrace to Mount Lamp Dragon! I'm so sorry. Lord Ryu! Lord Ryu, you're alright. Lord just gathered the rest of Mew's soldiers and wiped out the zombies. Ryu, you defeated Neck Lord and freed Tinto. Why? Why would you do that? I don't want to run away anymore. Or you can say nothing. It doesn't really matter. I see. Hauser, I lost a lot of soldiers due to my own poor judgment. Annabelle's last request was for Muse and the state to be saved. But I realize that I can't handle that responsibility. I'm leaving my seat as acting mayor of Muse City. Under Muse law, the next acting mayor will be Fitcher. Oh, really? Is that the best idea we ever had? <laughs> I 
I hear that Fitcher is in the Unicorn Army now. You can join the Unicorn Army too. Lord Jess, what about you? I can't stay here. Lord Jess, let me say this to you as a friend who fought next to you. You should also fight again under the Unicorn Army. Lord Ryu and you were aiming at the same goal. You shouldn't part company for such a silly reason. Let's fight together, Jess. Come on. Put it away. Lord Ryu. Let me ask just one thing. Think back. Lady Annabelle liked you a lot. She was happy that Genkaku's son showed up looking so brave. Are you sure you're not betraying her faith in you? I'm sure. I'm not betraying anyone. I promise you that. I believed Annabelle, and until today I've been fighting for Muse in the city-state. My anger at losing any Lady Annabelle might have been turned at you. Yeah, you think? Now that Annabelle is gone, I have to live by my conscience. Lord Ryu, I'm sorry for any disrespect I may have shown. Will you let me fight with you? Yeah, man. Lord Jess. Great. Well, you get Hauser and Jess now, even though they don't say. And I'm not sure about... The bandits? I think we have to go up and see. Uh, let's go take a look. I think there's more to, to talk about up here. Maybe so? We might have just ran in here for nothing. We ran in here for nothing. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, hang on. Oh, you know what? No, I just remembered, actually. Um, you're not told about any of it, but... Um, Hauser, Sierra, Jess, Gijimu, Lowen, Koyu, Marlo, and Khan have all joined. That's the thing. So, you know what? Before we go... <laughs> There's actually two things we can do before we go. So all those people have joined you. Can we sharpen things, please? Uh, Nana for sure. Do it. There, here goes all our money. Down the drain. Clive for sure. And I don't think Leona is still here. So I don't think we can do anything with that. Uh, let's do Victor's. Why not? He's probably going to be in our party again. Basically, if we bring anyone else in a party later, we can just we can just teleport here and get it done. So I'm not too worried. We have the money. Oh, uh, we need to go back up to the guild hall, I think. But I didn't see Gustav in here. Is he not here? He might be in his room. Lily's here. Here he is. I think he gives us something. Lord Ryu, this is proof of the friendship of all of the mining guild. It's not much, but please take it. Mother Earth, this rune is very good. We had a chance to get this earlier, I believe in, um, Gregminster. But we didn't have it because they didn't have it in the rare finds. This is a really good one, so don't let it go. Um, goodbye, Dancing Flames. I hardly knew you. We need to sell some stuff. We're going to put this on Ryu. Actually, it's a very, very good rune to have. Extremely good. It's the, the high version of the Earth rune. Very nice. All right. Let's see. I think we can live here. Uh, we can live here. We can live here! I think we can leave. I think we have to go to Krom really quick. I think there's one more thing we can get in Krom. So let's get on our way. What? Oh, we haven't seen this yet. Ghost slug. I'm not sure what it drops. To be fair. Uh, that was uneventful. Looks like nothing. Now I think what we have to do here is go to all the way to the north house again. If you remember, we've already been in there once. I believe it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. The elder actually of Krom is in here, but they never tell you that. 
We have to look for him. Uh, let's see. Where would he be? Oh, is that him over there? He looks old. Lord Ryu, take this. This is from all of us in Crom Village. You got a sunbeam room. Don't give up on that either. Um, oh, what is going on in here? We gotta go home. Meat pie. Don't need it. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. We will never forget you. Okay, that's good. I won't forget you either. Uh, the sunbeam room. What does that do? I can't remember. Uh, let's look. Heals HP on the battle in the field. That could be good. I forgot how much. We can look that up later and see. Have you used it? Let me know. Um, now what we can do is go home. There's actually quite a bit we can do at home. So let's uh, do that. Shall we? We can just warp home, I think. Drop off all this stuff. Holy crap. We have so much stuff. I Hopefully, I don't think a, a, an event happens here until you go into HQ, so let's wait on that for a minute. Uh, what do we have? Oh, Lord. We have the cabbage seed, the tomato seedling, the chicken, the calf, bunch of books and window sets. Let's go drop those off real quick. Before we do anything, let's drop off the veggies and the animals. We'll put... Oh, no. Oh, no. It's, a, it's an event. No, I tried to get around it. Oh, stop. Sheena, welcome back. She's waiting for you upstairs. I think he's come up with a plan. He's got that look on his face again. What? Sheena, get out of here. Oh, for fuck's sake. Look at all this now. <laughs> Walking around with a damn army. I'm not going up there yet. I've got stuff to do. Just hang on. Everyone wait. We should be good to drop all this off. I did. Please take care of them. And then I've got animals for you, Missy. Let's leave and come back to make sure that they're here. Not that it would do any good if they weren't. I'd be screwed if they weren't. Yeah, look at all of our veggies now. We're almost full. Holy crap. There's a lot of animals in here. Stallion, I what did I tell you? Please, please stop humping animals in here. It, it, it's really a thing that you should not be doing. Oh, brother. Um, well, <laughs> that's a thing. Cows, pigs, sheep, uh, nothing is below his radar, I guess. Anyway, um, let's drop off the books, and let's try to see if we can find Connell and, um, and the window guy, because uh, some people said they wanted to see that as well. And I can't remember where they are, to be fair. Not for sure. I think one of them is in the library. Let's make sure also that we have all of them, since we'll just drop them all off at once. Um, let's deposit some shit, too. Uh, Sunbeam can go, Firefly can go, and Double Strike can go. The Plans can go. Tomato juice, why do I even have that? I don't know what that ornament is, I have no idea. Um, do we have anything in here we can withdraw? The sound sets we have? Yes. And anything else? That looks like it. Alright, let's see if we can find them. To the library first. I know that two people will be in there. Look at all these people. The higher uh, stage your castle gets, the more just random NPCs you'll have hanging around. Is Connell in here too? And Templeton's in here. Maybe he's not. Yeah, we brought books. What books did we get? We have the Antique List, The Seeker of Sindar. Did we read this? I spent my life chasing the secrets of the Sindar, but here in these ruins, I've reached the end of my strength. And so, I write some of what I have learned. The Sindar are a phantom race. They have been known throughout history, and yet their true nature is a mystery. They came from the north and traveled south, leaving mysterious ruins behind them. Legends say the clan leader had a cursed rune inscribed on his forehead. It granted eternal life, but doomed the clan to a life of wandering. They say a secret treasure lies at the heart of the ruins, but there are many traps, and most seekers find only death, like myself. I wonder who wrote that. 27 true runes, the gate rune war. We can read about this. 
The war in which the Torin Republic defeated the Scarlet Moon Empire is known as the Gate Rune War, or the Liberation War. The first leader of the victorious Liberation Army was a woman named Odessa Silverberg. She was originally Imperial nobility, but her lover was killed by the Empire, and so she joined the resistance and formed the Liberation Army. The original members were Flick, Humphrey, and Sanchez, but according to another member, Victor. The later victories were due to the intervention of McDowell, son of the sixth Imperial General. During the war, Odessa was killed and McDowell took over leadership of the Liberation Army. McDowell followed the advice of General Matthew and set up Torah Castle as the new Liberation Army base. After many battles, they succeeded in overthrowing Emperor Barbarossa. However, after helping form a new nation, McDowell journeyed off to somewhere without ever seeing the fruits of his long labor. Well, maybe I shouldn't have read that. <laughs> that pretty much just spoiled Suikoden so 1 a little bit, but that's fine. The Grasslands. The Grasslands are a stretchy plain, stretching, uh, grassy plain, sorry, stretching from the western part of Tinto to the north. Many people live there and are trying to take control of it. Tinto plans on more raids in the future, but they're hindered by the Grasslanders, particularly the Karaya and Chisia clans, as well as the Free Knights of Kamaro. Recently, border attacks by a group of thieves called the Keepers of the Flame have increased. That's actually very important. Um, that's, that's predecessing information for Suikoden 3. The Grasslands and the Chisha clans and the Knights of Kamaro those are all going to be important people in Suikoden 3. So it's kind of cool that they're hinting to that now. You know that, that it's kind of connected. Tinto and the Grasslands and all that. Because the Grasslands area and Shisha, that's where Suikoden 3 is going to take place. Right, Sigrid? Right. Um, where the hell is Connell? Is he in here? I don't think he would be in here. Doctor's in here. Oh man, I have no idea where he is. And I don't know where the window guy is either. Do you guys remember where they are? This is going to be a fine thing. Yeah, I seriously... Hmm. Let's, let's think about this. Are they out on the, on the porch? Let's find out. No, they're not in here. They're not in the bathtub. <laughs> are they out here? Millie's here. That's it. Oh, Lord. Well, are we gonna have another thing in here? Oh, we- oh my god, we are. I didn't think we would have one so soon. Uh-oh. Alright, well. Uh, there's nobody in here. hi yo, get a hold of yourself. You've got to make a new menu or this restaurant will- That's right, hi yo. I don't know what happened, but we're counting on you. It's no good. I just can't cook after something like that happened. What's wrong now? D don't say such things. I'm giving up cooking. Oh no. Ha 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 ha. You give up too easily, Hayo. You need more training. The hell is this? We finally meet again after all this time, and now I hear that you're quitting cooking? Antonio. I should give him an Italian accent. If you give up over something like this, you must not have had enough training. Ah, it's me, Mario. It's no good. I don't care about any stupid old moonbird recipe. What? Whoa, what just happened? What do you mean, Ahayo? You risk your life to steal the moonbird recipe, and what about Shun Min? Think about her. Think about why she went to the trouble to get you that recipe. Shun Min. What is going on with this drama? This is like a Korean drama. Cooking, people slapping each other. <laughs> Come on, Ahayo, a cook-off between you and I. Lord Ryu, please let us use your castle. I guess so. We don't really have anything else to do at the moment other than progress story. And I can't find the people I was looking for, so whatever. Oh, Hans again? No, this is crap. This is rigged. How did we get him again? This is the third time. Like, in a row. Oh, come on. This is retarded. We have fucking Shin, too. I don't think he's great. Alright, who we got? Hans, we know. A warrior with an exotic air, but his taste in food was influenced by Lady Teresa. It's Shin. Basically, that tells us nothing, because we don't know about Teresa. 
In the woods where he grew up, he used to love to eat fish straight from the river. It's Kinnison. All the way from Torin, he's a knight's knight and he's doing all right. It's Maximilian. Oh, I don't know anything about him. Oh, this is bad. This is just the worst. Ugh, why do we always get these shitty ones? Chef Antonio! And hi-yo! Alright. I am not having this one bit. <laughs> this is just... Why does this always happen? Well... Man, I just don't know. How about some croquettes? Croquettes are good. Black croquettes? No. Cream ones? Ely croquettes? Sweet croquettes? No, 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 no. How about... Hot croquettes? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> oh, we're just going with this. I have no freaking idea, really, to be fair. Um... Something with fish again, because we need Kinnison's vote. Oh man, this is just- we do the same thing all the fucking time. Every time. Gratin cake? Shortcake. Oh, we're gonna die, aren't we? <laughs> I, I, I pray that we don't lose this. I don't want to lose any. And God knows the last time I saved, that means I would have to do every single thing we just did over again, including Necklord, and I'm not doing it. If we lose this, we're in deep doo-doo. We can't lose. You guys, you have to cross your fingers for this. We can't lose. Come on, button mashing. We must do it. I am mashing the button. Can you hear it? <laughs> Come on. There we go. Alright, I think we did okay. What did he make? Downtown pasta. Please don't like it. Alright, good. Good, good, good. Come on, croquettes are delicious. Do you guys like croquettes? A little better. The same score, really, except we have one more. That's not really that great. <laughs> oh, is that ramen? It is. Oh man, ramen's so good. Real Japanese ramen is good. Uh, they sort of liked it. Half and half. Come on, I need that five from Kinnison on this. Grilled redfish. Okay, uh, that's all right. Stupid Hansen is one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill that dude in his sleep. I'm gonna shank him. What an asshole. What do we got here? Is that Oitashi? No, spinach salad. For dessert? Dude! What's wrong with you? Who the fuck eats spinach for dessert? Nobody. You want cake with a big old strawberry on it. That's what I would want. Oh, okay, we got this, we got this. Shin likes sweets. Good to know. Okay, good. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was worried there. I'm always worried when I'm not prepared and I get bad judges. Yeah, we totally won. Look at that dude over there. He's so perplexed. He's like, huh? How did I lose? All right. Man, we've done so much. We fought a vampire, had a cook-off, got lost. So many things. I still don't know where Connell is. Can you guys tell me, please? Don't remember. Well, Ahayo, do you still intend to give up on a cooking? Antonio, that was the most fun cook-off I've ever had. I was wrong. No matter how hard it gets, I'll defend the Moonbird recipe. Well said. That's the great chef Hayo that I remembered. Are we done here? I can't believe it. I was sure I could beat you. I didn't expect you'd regain your old skills so quickly. Oh, here's that dude that I thought was a chick. Oh, to be fair, it looks like he has boobs. He's wearing a pink shirt. No, that's a girl. Look! The side. That is a girl. I was right the whole time. They must have just made a typo when they called him a boy in the in the dialogue. It is a girl. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Yokuran, those brothers, it can't be. Well, he got pretty serious when I told him he would have nowhere to go home if he lost to you. Ha 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 ha. That was almost enough to get you to return the moonbird recipe to us, eh? I I, I won't forget this, Gyokuran. It's between you and me now. <laughs> As you wish, I accept your challenge, but I'm not quite prepared today, so I'll see you next time. Until then, you had best study your cookbook carefully. <laughs> oh, God. All right. We're... Oh, really? That will be a hard battle, Hayo. 
You're right, of course. But don't worry, I won't fail. That's the spirit. Hayo, I want you to have this. Yeah, ramen. Ramen is so good. Good luck, Hayo. Are we done? <laughs> In the next episode, I will hopefully find Connell and the window guy. I just, I cannot remember where they are. It, this really bugs me, actually. Are they in here? This is the... I don't think we've ever been in here, actually. This is the stage where you can do plays. We'll do that later. I don't think they're in here. Um, well, this is this is perplexing. I, I'll, I'll find them. And uh, in the next one, we will do stuff that involves them and also story progression. Because I know you guys want to see it. See you later.